Where my bad bitch is I'm and I'm motherfucker. Hold me Hey beauties and bros. So I am on the way <clears throat> to get my makeup done. Not for any special occasion or anything. I am just helping my sister build up her portfolio. I'm gonna put her information in the description box. Y'all gonna be seeing us collab a little bit more together because you know I do hair, she do makeup, and yeah. She's more so like into skincare. She has her esthetician's license and me and Cosmo. But um, yeah, y'all tune in, stay tuned in. So I made it to my dad's. And that's Touche back there. She about to do my makeup. Excuse the mess right there. <laughs> and excuse how she look. I'm I'm not gonna put it in the camera too much. She about to do my makeup, but she taking kind of long. Oh, <laughs> So I decided to let Touche take over this voiceover. This is our first time, so y'all bear with her. It took her forever to come on to this voiceover, so I just had to put a filler right here. <laughs> this video is a little bit everywhere. It was a last minute decision to make this video, so just stay tuned for more, you know? Like, it's not gonna always be this way. I wasn't consistent in the past, but I really am going to be consistent now. So, yeah, life was life, but it's not life anymore, okay? Take a thousand. Jeez, this is so hard doing a voice a voiceover. My gosh, oh, y'all, Tilly do not keep still. But yes, so I am Touche X Co. I am Tilly's makeup artist. If you see her face done, I did it. And if it looked ugly, it wasn't me. <laughs> but yeah, so basically, yes. So I am a three-year licensed esthetician. I do work for MAC Cosmetics as well too. Um, but let's get into this video. So basically I just prep Tilly's skin with the First Aid Beauty Radiance Pads. I also use the MAC Ceramizer and also the ELF Moisturizer. I also like to spray my skin prep with the Milani um, Setting Spray just to kind of like set everything kind of like in between like ceramizer i spray my setting spray and then i do my moisturizer and also you do want to also let your skin prep dry before putting on makeup because we don't want any separation to happen which <clears throat> that can be the cause of it moving too fast so i'm still prepping still prepping <laughs> oh my god i don't even know what to say like i said before it's my first time doing this i don't even know but i did her eyebrows i did her eyebrows with the elf um brow lift and also i used the mac eyebrow pencil i'm also doing her eyeshadow we're just going for more of like a bronzy look and she did want like a highlighted under eye so we went i went on ahead and did that i used about two different colors of concealer and i did use the mac studio fix um fluid and then you're also basically i just wanted to kind of like try something out I usually do this look on me, but I was just trying to see if like I can actually like do it on Tilly. Um, but yeah, this is my signature full glam. Go ahead, book with me on the lips. We wanted to try something bold, so we just basically did a red ombre, and I used Night Moth and Ruby Woo on the lips. Um, I could have went a tad bit brighter in the middle of the lips, but yeah usually with the full glam you can 
do like a ombre lip you can do like the 90s nude lip with the brown liner and the concealer um shade in the middle um but yeah that's basically it tilly lips was crusty as hell but yes and i can say i did a good job on this red lip because red is really really hard to do like it has to be super super sharp or it's gonna look a mess so yeah i'm gonna let you guys finish watch me do her lip and see you on the next video I'm not saying this just because she my sister, but if 4 plus 4 equals 8, she ate down on this look, okay? Hey beauties and bros, so I am going to be removing my makeup. Um, I needed a filler for the rest of this video, so I was like, why not? So we're just going to get straight into it. So I started off by using the Hydrating Foaming Oil Cleanser. This is for dry to very dry skin. It also is a makeup remover. So it breaks down that makeup and it gets it all off. Like this works wonders, okay? Actually, this is the first step. I started off by removing my makeup with this, the micellar water. This is the hyaluronic acid and aloe. I like this because it's very gentle on my skin and it does not irritate my skin, dry it out, none of that. I love this. Like I die by this. Go get it. So usually I use the cotton pads or cotton rounds to wipe off my makeup, but we're going to be using cotton balls today because my sister used all of my cotton pads. But yeah, so we're just going to get straight into it. So I ended up forgetting to turn my mic on, so that's why I'm doing this voiceover. So that's why the words are not sinking. <laughs> You're not tripping. But anyways, I ended up using some paper towels because I I did not want to use 101 cotton rounds. But anyways, so just get into the video. I feel like everything is kind of self-explanatory. I'll do a step-by-step -step one day. This is really just to fill up the rest of this video. But thanks for tuning in, and if you have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know. Huh. My mic was not on this whole time, so it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so earlier today, yeah, earlier today, I already did like a face mask and I did like a nose strip, which is why my nose is so shiny. But, um, so that was like how I prepped my face. I'm going to do a whole nother video on how I prepped my face before putting makeup on. But now I am going in with the Clinique, the step two. The step one is the face wash. I don't have any more. So I just been using my CeraVe. But usually I use my CeraVe and then I use my Clinique, the step one. This is just what I use to wash off my makeup and then I go in with the Clinique. But I'm still going to use my other steps of the clinic and this is basically a clarifying lotion. It's supposed to help us on the skin. I don't use this often, as often as I should because I've been using TMB and I don't like all kind of products on my skin when I'm using my product. Just for, you know, I don't like mixing all kind of products together. So basically, since I just like washed my face so many times, I'm using this, um, the CosRx serum. I'm not going to use no TMB tonight because I don't want any oil on my face. But at the end of the day, I'm about to wash it off in a couple hours. That's more so for throughout the day.
Mm. And then I'm going in with the Clinique, the um, eye cream. It's called Smart Clinical Repair. It's supposed to help with wrinkles and fine lines. And then the final step of the clinic is the moisturizer. This is for normal to dry skin. So again, I don't do this every single night. My nighttime routine it is very simple. This is like the most I do, and I'm only doing this this much tonight is because I have makeup on. But my nighttime routine, very simple, straightforward, it might be just one product, two products max. If I do want to put on the CMB, then I'll do the TMB and a moisturizer. And that's about it. Pretty straightforward to the point. I just had to do the most tonight. Again, because I had makeup on. So, but thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'm about to go finish the ready for bed. And I hope y'all have a good night, good morning, and a great day, whatever time you're watching this. And 